Hey, what is up, guys? My name is YGO Days, and today, guys, I'll be getting into how to use the zombie engine. Now, this engine is not as relevant as it once was in the past, but it's still a pretty good engine, and I don't have a name for this series yet, so please go tell me in the comments below what I should name the series. Also, guys, don't forget to go check out my channel, although I don't have any other engine videos except for, like, one a long time ago. I'm going to be continuing this series later on. As you can tell, I'm out of breath. I had to re-record this. Let's get right into the video, guys. Okay, guys, before I get into the details, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the actual point of the engine is. Now, this is pretty generic. You can go into any generic level 8 synchro or level 4 or rank 4 exceeds monster. But the best one probably to go into at the time is Psy Frame Lord Omega. Because of the current meta, this can reduce cards in your opponent's hand, and you can also come back next turn not having to go into a link zone. Let's get right into how you do the engine. So, what you would first do is, if this card is in your hand, which is the only card you do need in your hand, you can use this card as your base normal summon. Then, afterwards, you can use Shirinui Solitaire's effect, which allows you to tribute itself, and then special summon one uni zombie from your deck. Uni Zombie has the effect where you can target one monster in the field, it gains one level, and then you can send one zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Also, monsters you control that are not zombie type cannot attack for the rest of the turn. So, using his effect, you would send a Mizuki. Because Mizuki is, or not is, but it is level 4, but it has the effect to banish itself to special summon Yushu when it's solitaire. So, then you can activate his effect, special summoning your solitaire. And because Uni Zombie upgraded his own level, they're now level 4 and 4, giving you access to any generic level 8 synchro. Okay guys, now for the level 8 synchro, I'm just going to go into the details here. Starting off with our main boss of the engine, we have Psy Frame Lord Omega. He's got a pretty basic three different effects, depending on where he is on the field at what times. So if during your turn, you can banish him from the field and one card from your opponent's hand into the next standby phase. He also has a, another effect where during your opponent's turn, you can target one of your banished cards, return it back to the graveyard, giving you access to the, the zombie engine for the next turn because you can unbanish your Mizuki and then use the Mizuki to summon back to Solidaire and then do the engine once again the next turn. He's also got a final effect where if he is sent to the graveyard, you can turn himself and one other, mon one other monster from your graveyard back to the deck. So this basically allows you to reuse the engine once again. Also, Cyframe Lord Omega is a completely generic level 8 synchro that is level, or not level, but light psychic. Next up, guys, we have the basic or the normal summon of the engine, and that is Shirinui Solitaire. Shirinui Solitaire has a pretty amazing effect where you can target one zombie type monster of control, which he can target himself, and you can send that monster to the graveyard and special summon one zombie type monster from your deck that has zero attack. Uni Zombie has, sorry, not zero attack, zero defense. Uni Zombie does have zero defense, allowing you access Uni Zombie straight from your deck and continue your plays from there. Okay, next up, guys, the card that we do summon off of Shirinui Solitaire is Uni Zombie, as you can see, zero defense. He's got two different effects, one of which has a little bit of a restriction after you do activate it, the other one does not. His first effect is you can target one face of monster in the field and discard one card, and that monster's level is increased by one, which is pretty good for enabling some other kinds of synchro plays. But he also has another secondary effect which enables this engine to work, where you can target one monster you control, and instead of discarding a card from your hand, you send a zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard and increase that monster's level by one. And you can target himself once again to make him level four. And next up guys, for the last card in the engine, we do have Mizuki. Now I actually like to run one Mizuki, even though it does kind of set you back from the recurrence effect that Cypher Lord Omega does give you on the next turn. I mostly use him for his your turn effect. But, Mizuki, I only like to run him at 1, because it doesn't matter where he is, except for being banished, he can activate his effect, or go with the engine. So if he's in your hand, you can discard him with Uni Zombie, and you don't even get the restriction for the rest of the turn. 
if he's already on the field, then all you have to do is summon the uni zombie and send the other Suraniwi Saltair or another uni zombie from your deck to Gray so that you can go on to your level 8 plays or synchro level 8 plays. And not only is he pretty good for this engine, but he's actually a really amazing zombie sport overall. Okay guys, I'm going to give you a basic rundown of the engine, and then we're going to go on after this to a rating, so let's get right into it. So we're going to start off right here with our boss monster of the deck, that is Cyphran Lord Omega. He is a really powerful boss monster, having three really relevant effects, being a even trade and minus one for both opponents, or yeah, both opponents. Also... He does have a secondary effect that does allow you to self-recur the entire engine. And he's got a third effect which allows him to self-recur only himself. Back to the extra deck meaning you only have to run one of them. Unless you want to summon multiple at once. Which is not recommended but is possible. Guys next up Suranui Solitaire. And Suranui Solitaire is a fire attribute. Giving him some sort of support with fire attributes. And as we do know Konami does sometimes give some really over to uh, really overpowered support for some w less well-known attributes and types. <coughs> Emergency Teleport for Psychic, if you didn't know. And maybe that kind of support could come out in the future, making this engine a lot more relevant. Not only this Journey Solitaire does did do have this good effect... Okay, freaking English. Keep that blooper in, because it's actually funny, but let's continue. Journey Solitaire does have a pretty good effect, where you can... Obviously, tribute himself to summon any zombie type monster from your deck with zero attack. Running this in any zombie based deck is actually really powerful since there are quite a few zombies that do have zero attack other than just the Shirinui archetype. Example, Uni Zombie. He does have a secondary effect which is less valuable in more generic engines, but it's very relevant in the actual Shirinui deck because it does allow you to, I think it is special summon. Yes, you can special summon Shirinui monsters from your graveyard. Or if it is banished, one monster. If it is banished without Shirinui style synthesis on the field. But if Shirinui style synthesis is on the field, you do get a double special summon, which is really powerful. He's also got only 500 attack, but it does mean that he does have some support with stuff like Inferno Reckless Summon, allowing you to basically span the field very easily. We do next up have Uni Zombie. Uni Zombie is level 3, meaning he is able to be summoned by some other effects that are like level 3 or lower. He also, of course, is a tuner and is dark, meaning he can be used with cards like Allure of Darkness. Now, there is a problem with this engine, is that there's a fire, dark, and earth attribute, meaning it's kind of hard to use attribute support unless it directly targets Solitaire, since that is your main starter. But Zombie is pretty good because he does have a discard effect which can help with some decks with discarding effects. And he does enable the synchro plays with this engine instead of just being a rank 4 engine. Next up we do have Mizuki. Now one thing I like to point out is Mizuki has a lot of different printings and different rarities. Meaning you can hollow him out pretty easily. But sadly Uni Zombie is still a common as usual. But Mizuki is pretty cool. He is earth type which is not... As good as an attribute as dark or somewhat fire, but it's still a pretty good attribute. I don't know why he is earth. He's like a zombie, but his special summon effect is not once per turn, meaning if you were able to get another Mizuki to grave, you can continue this engine on even more and get some much more powerful fields. Okay, before we go on, I'd like to just give you a little point out here. These cards are holiday based and they're also pendulum uh, normal monsters. It's pretty cool. I think I'm just going to do these for my outro from now on, but let's get right into the rating of this engine. So we're going to start off with three different points, which is the ability to use the engine past turn one or past its first use, the ability to get powerful monsters on board, and also has the least amount of setbacks in terms of restrictions. So right off the bat, it is able to get outside Frame Lord Omega, and in certain decks can actually go past that point in card plusing. And Omega has several different effects. They're actually really relevant for even some other effects that do banish cards. Since it can unbanish any card in general. So I, out of 5, I'd rate this engine about a 4 in being able to use, be used past turn 1. Because of Cypher and Lord Omega's effect. To be able to 
send your Mizuki back to your graveyard and continue on with the engine. So four is a pretty good number for that. Okay, for the boss monster, Cypher Lord Omega is a pretty good boss monster, but he is pretty underwhelming against your opponent since he doesn't have any like negations or anything like that. He is an even trade in terms of card advantage, but he's not as powerful as a boss monster that you could want with certain decks like maybe scraps. If you want to, you can go into Scrap Dragon and get a destruction with this effect or with Scrap Dragon's effect. So it does have different options, which is another plus, so that gives it an extra point. But I think overall this only has a 3 in terms of boss monsters, since there's cards like Crystal Wing and Makaba out in the meta currently that completely destroy this card in terms of which is better. Okay guys, and last we do have the restrictions or setbacks, and that being this engine normally does use your normal summon to summon your new solitaire, so that's one huge setback. And also Uni Zombie makes it to where all your monsters cannot attack. And that's a pretty big setback for only being able to summon out one generic level 8 synchro. So I'm going to give that a 2. So this engine is not extremely good at being in most decks. Although some decks, most of these restrictions don't really matter. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video. Okay guys, now if you want to see more engine reviews like this one please go tell me in the comments below that you want to see more and also go ahead and check out some other videos on my channel if you are new to my channel i'll be doing videos like this once again i also do profiles combos and sometimes some pack openings which i just recently did my sneak peek packs and my brother did open a few packs for you guys but i have in store for you guys for the next video if this video is very well received i have the brilliant engine or Brilliant Fusion Engine, maybe with the extended version using Orphus Scorpio. And I also do have the Fluffle Engine after that, although I still have to do, I still have to get some Foolish Burial Goods in order to run the engine at full power. But I'll see you guys next time.